I'm back at Adam's Speed Shop, and we all know that means I have parts for the Overland Bison Project. There she is, and there we are. Uh, I'll be putting on some peak suspension tie rod support sleeves, and these are made by a multitude of companies, and in particular, uh, they are to address a known problem with the front steering components. Uh, GM makes their own version of this in the GMPP line, and there's several other companies that also make replacement parts. Now, these are basically just here to as we crawl underneath, replace the jam nut. And uh, you can see my finger there, sorry about the light. Uh, and uh, you'll see that this tie rod arm is a fairly thin arm. And obviously with the more rugged or aggressive driving you might be doing for at high speed or rock crawling, uh, that tends to be the weak spot on the Colorado. So uh, we'll be putting those support sleeves on. Hopefully it should be fairly uneventful, just making sure that to preserve the alignment, we're gonna count the number of turns and to restore the tie rod back to its original position, but I'm not anticipating too eventful of an installation. Main thing, I wanna get this out into the snow. We got a lot of rain this weekend and Big Bear is covered, so I wanna check the off-road and snow prowess as I haven't taken these tires out in those conditions. So more to do and more fun to see. So stay tuned for the result and the complete installation. As with most suspension modifications, the first step is going to be removing the wheel and tire so that we have better access. And then we're going to loosen the tie rod end nut, but we're not going to remove it. Then we're going to go to the jam nut, break that free, and then remove that tie rod end nut and completely remove the tie rod. Now you're going to want to pay attention to the rod end position and count back the number of turns that you're removing. And again, note the position that the tie rod end is when you take it off. You're going to want to make sure that it returns to that same position. Once you've got that off, we're going to take that jam nut completely off. Anytime I'm working on suspension or steering components with threads, I want to make sure that I clean the surfaces thoroughly, make sure there's no debris in the threads, and then trial fit whatever part it is by threading it all the way through. The last thing you want to have is a damaged thread that causes something to bind and be fully assembled. So here we go, thread it up take it back off, reapply your anises, and then thread the sleeve all the way up to the top position. With the threads exposed, we want to apply additional anti-seize here for the tie rod end. As we get ready to put the tie rod end in, please make sure that you've got the same orientation on that you took it off with, and count back the same number of threads to make sure that we aren't altering the suspension alignment. Put the tie rod back into the steering knuckle arm, thread up the sleeve and replace the nut on top. You're gonna to wanna to wipe off any excess anti-seize and then spin the nut just snug and then grab our torque wrench and torque to 26 foot pounds. Now all that's left to do is to use the sleeve as a jam nut and tighten it against the back of the tie rod end. Okay, so the installation is pretty straightforward. Uh, there is the completed install and you will see a couple little things that I like to do. Obviously the OEMs uh, like to mark uh, the places where the jam nut goes into the tie rod so I went ahead and I uh, used a sharpie just to mark that so I can see if it's backing off uh, but uh, as long as you got your rotation and the number of turns correct on the installation here uh, that should be pretty straightforward does not need an alignment uh, but that was it uh, a couple of bolts and you're back in business